guys, welcome back to my channel, Naturally Fab Me, and you are tuned into another video. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing some items that I got from my Curlbox. And if you don't know, Curlbox is a subscription service, but you can also purchase individual boxes, and that's what I did. This box is actually the Maui Moisture box, and I went ahead and purchased it. I saw it and I was like, oh, I have to have it. This box was curated by master stylist Nikki Nelms, so let's just jump into all the products that I received. In the box, you received the Shine Plus Awa Pui Shampoo for doll hair. You also received the conditioner. There was also a Thicken and Restore Bamboo Fibers Blowout Mist, a heat shield, and of course the Curl Quench Coconut Curl Smoothie. We also received a water bottle, which I was super excited because I need one, and then a brush. Oh, and also a cute little handheld mirror. And y'all, all of this was 35 bucks. I mean, you cannot beat this. So as you can see, I'm in dire need of some help with my hair. So let's get into washing it. So this is my first time using the Maui Moisture line of this particular line. I've used the brand before and this is some really creamy shampoo. I love the way their shampoos feel. So I always start with the scalp first. Of course, I'm gonna go ahead and cleanse my scalp and notice that it just suds really, really quickly. And I mean, there's a lot. I did have to add a little bit more to my middle section because that's my thicker part of my hair. And so I really didn't have to use too much to get a good lather as you can see. All right, so let's just get into some product details. I was like, what is Awa Peewee? But I went ahead and looked it up and it's called Wild Ginger. It is supposed to be a miracle ingredient for dry hair. It's supposed to smooth, soften, and condition the strands. The moisture also uses a lot of coconut water and I love that they always have a lot of aloe leaf juice in their products. And so that is one of the main ingredients in this product. I'm gonna go ahead and wash this out and I'm gonna come back with the conditioner. All right, so this is the Shine Plus Awa Peewee Conditioner, and again, it's for dry hair. It was kind of hard to get out the bottle, but Maui Moisture always has really thick, creamy conditioners, so I'm always pleased with that. And of course, I'm gonna add it to the ends of my hair first, and then I'm gonna work my way up. Now, as you can see, I needed some more because I felt like I just it just wasn't enough. I was trying to work it into my strands, but it just felt like it just sat on top of my strands. I really didn't feel like it was penetrating, but I'll go ahead in some more detail at the end of the video when I give my full review. As you can see, I tried to finger detangle. I just, I don't know, it just wasn't working out for me. As you can see in the video, I was kind of struggling with the finger detangling, but I know that in my back section, I usually can finger detangle with any conditioner. And so as you can see, my fingers glided right through in the back section of my hair. But that is a looser texture. So I'm gonna rinse this out and give y'all my final thoughts. All right guys, so I am here to go ahead and give you my final thoughts on the shampoo and conditioner by Maui Moisture. And this is their Shine and Awa Pui. Yeah, Awa Pui. This is their Shine and Awa Pui collection. So I'm gonna just kind of give you the details on my final thoughts and everything I felt about the products. So the first one I showed y'all on camera was the shampoo. All right, so let's get into the claims and what I feel about the uh, actual shampoo. This particular shampoo is said to detangle, hydrate, and it's gentle. Um, it also says that it has the slippery effects of the Awa uh flower. So I'm just gonna kind of tell you what I feel about those claims. As far as hydrating, I really did not feel like this shampoo hydrated my type four natural hair. It felt like slippery, like smooth when I was washing it out. However, it felt like it took all of the moisture out of my hair. Um, detangle wise, I would not try to detangle my hair with this shampoo. I felt like it was really stripping and kind of like a clarifying shampoo, but I just felt like all my moisture was taken away. Um, I don't feel like this would have enough slip to detangle with, not on us type 4 natural hair girls. The smell, it smelled really good. It had a nice faint um, tropical like Hawaiian smell, which I always love their product smells. Now as far as the ingredients, I know sometimes you, 
some of you are very very strict on the ingredients and as I was looking at it I noticed that most of it is aloe leaf juice which I've heard a lot of good things about that but I do see that there is glycerin in this product. I could have sworn I saw that there was alcohol in here as well but that must be in the conditioner. Some of the pros of this is that it did really lather quickly. You didn't have to really use a lot. I really love the texture and the feel of the shampoo as far as it in my hands. I think they always make thick and nice, almost like creamy shampoos. So I do like the way it feels. However, this particular line, this particular brand did not work as well as others that I have tried. I've tried a few other Maui Moisture um, shampoos and conditioners and this is just not one of my favorites. So let's get into the conditioner. So um, like I said before, the shampoo was kind of stripping. Like your girl was like, ooh, I need some moisture added back in. So I was hoping that this conditioner would do the trick. Now let's look at the ingredients because I did see that it had alcohol. Uh, let me see if it's a good alcohol though. Because you know, there are certain alcohols that are not good. Okay, so yes, I do see isopropyl alcohol which that is and I don't know if I'm saying isopropyl right but isopropyl alcohol is not a really good alcohol for hair and especially type 4 natural hair I was kind of side eyeing this conditioner once I looked at the ingredients but I'm not really like an ingredient junkie as I continue on my journey and as I want stronger and thicker and healthier hair I'm more now into looking into ingredients but I'm not sure about every little ingredient but I do know that alcohols are not good there's good ones and there's bad ones so this conditioner does have a bad one in there um, I believe it does also have glycerin so if you don't, don't like glycerin it does have glycerin in it let's get into how it applied on my hair when I put applied this in the back sections of my hair no problem easy slip very easy to do finger detangle I felt like the conditioner actually penetrated in my hair and I just realized that I probably should have re-upped on my lipstick y'all bear with me I hope hopefully it's not too cruddy let, let me go put some lipstick okay so hopefully my lips weren't too distracting but let me just continue on going on what I was saying so like I said the back sections of my hair this conditioner worked really amazing like I felt the slip I felt how moisturizing it is but of course in the back of my hair it's a looser texture um I just find like the back and the front of my hair are definitely a looser texture now the middle and the sides are a different story. Those are my kinkier coils, those are my kinkier tresses. I felt like I had to use a buttload of conditioners, even finger detangle on those sections. But like I said, back section, front section, very easy to finger detangle. My kinkier sections, not so much. And I caked on a lot of conditioner. I used a lot to try to get you know the slip that I was getting in the back and the front of my hair. At one point, I kind of stopped trying to detangle with this conditioner because it just was not working. I like where my wash days are nice and relaxing and I don't like stressful and headaches and all that other stuff. So I kind of like was like, okay, look, it's not working, let's move on. So as far as my kinkier texture girls, I'm saying nah to this. But if you have more of like a finer hair texture, like a 4A or 3B, 3C, 3A, I think this would really work well. Like I said, it worked very amazing in the back of my hair, but that's my more looser texture. And I just felt like it really hydrated that section. So I would definitely suggest it for looser hair types to use this because I really like the way it applied on the back section of my hair. Final verdict, would I repurchase? No, I would not repurchase. I do, however, love that Maui Moisture packaging is always great um, and their smells are always bomb.com. I have used some other products, so I do still have a lot of products that I do love by this brand, but this particular line, no. I'm not going to repurchase it, and I just don't think it works for our type 4 hair, like the kinkier, coilier textures. I just really don't think it does a good job with that. So let me know in the comments if you have tried these 
products and tell me how it worked for your hair. It just did not work for my hair. And of course, I'm gonna try again and you know keep y'all updated in case it does start working. But as far as my first impressions, nah, sis, it did not, it did not work out. So guys, don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful. Also, don't forget to comment down below. Tell me any other content you want to see from me. And make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Make sure you hit those bell notifications because I will be posting videos frequently and I want to make sure that you see my content. Well guys, until my next video, bye.